Now let's move to um, some uh, issues that are already arise during implementation of uh, safety, so challenges regarding implementation of safety in Poland. And the first thing is that the current scopes uh, of uh, the structures, the current uh, logic st structures of the Polish safety do not, uh, do not cover all the accounting and tax reporting areas uh, that we are having. For example, they do not cover fixed and intangible assets, excise duty, local taxes, uh, which, uh, mm, which uh, it, it seems that uh, we may expect that in the future uh, another uh, structure will um, uh, will be implemented, so um, we should be prepared for that. And um, in uh, in this area, what are the main challenges? Three three questions. The first is how to extract and gen generate uh, safety, how to verify uh, the correctness the correctness of files, and how to ensure that the file uh, content is uh, is full and is in line with the tax uh, provisions. We will try during uh, try during uh, our webcast to to answer these questions. Let's talk about a few uh, practical um, issues. The first is, as I said before, the scope of data required to be provided, which is um, uh, very uh, range uh, wide and uh, which uh, covers, for example, we can in case of invoices, all the invoices, um, purchase and sale invoices, and what's more, all the lines which are reported on the invoices. In case of accounting books, it should be uh, uh, journal entries and all the postings on accounts, which means that this is a very, uh, very broad information to be provided. Uh, another thing uh, and challenge is diverse source of uh, data, which means that uh, from it, it comes from our practice already that uh, information data that should be provided in safety are not only um, in uh, the, the core ERP system, but uh, the, they are stored in other source. Uh, other intermediary uh, solutions used by the companies in practice, like, for example, uh, Excel files. So that should be taken into consideration and uh, w when implementation. Uh, the second, que the third question is period for which safety uh, should be presented, and this, as a rule, should be um, defined by the tax authorities uh, in the request. And in practice, um, according to the declarations of the Ministry of Finance, it should be one uh, accounting or one settlement period, which is in practice one month or uh, one year. And when we talk about one year, it should be mentioned that um, the size, um, the size of the selected safety uh, can be huge. It, it can be a, a huge amount of information to be provided, which which also is is a challenge that that we see. Uh, we estimate, for example, that for accounting books, uh, for uh, generated for a period of one year. Uh, when we assume uh, that uh, there are two million entries and ten million items, the um, the, the size uh, of uh, this file would be eleven gigabytes. So it's it's very huge. And the last question is: What is the deadline for providing safety uh, to the tax authorities? It is uh, the same as it is now during the tax uh, proceedings, tax controls, from three uh, up to fourteen days. So it it will be the Find by the tax authorities, but uh, it still can be even three days. Um, I, I think we can now m move um, to the next section, with, which is how does how do the vendors of uh, IT solutions are prepared for implementing saf safety in Poland? Thank you, Ola. Um, well, uh, let's talk about the uh, Polish uh, enterprise application software market. Um, we're talking about this um, this um, market share uh, because the uh, enterprise application software, the e ERP software, uh, especially the financial and accounting modules, uh, will be the uh, main source uh, of the um, uh, safety uh, file. And uh, based on the IDC report, uh, we can we can see that the 
uh, market share in, in enterprise application uh, software uh, in Poland. Um, there are two b um, big players. The first one is SAP with, uh, with a market share around 43% and uh, Komarch, so Krakow based uh, company with uh, 14, nearly 15% uh, of shares. Um, both uh, above mentioned suppliers are working on solutions uh, for safety uh, in Poland generation. Um, as, as it is said, uh, those uh, systems should be, uh, those uh, tools should be uh, built in in, in ERP systems provided by them. Uh, what's worth mentioning is that these solutions do not provide the, the possibility to supply safety uh, files with uh, others uh, with data from other sources than uh, ERP systems. So, if um, you're using other kind of uh, systems for the purpose of generating, or you will be uh, using other sorts of uh, systems for generating safety files, such as billing systems, such as point of sale system, uh, and so on. Uh, the tools or solutions provided by ERP systems vendors uh, will not be relevant in this matter. On the, on the next two slides, I would like to talk about uh, the approach of each of these uh, vendors to, um, to supporting uh, clients in safety generation. Uh, however, I would like to stress out uh, two things that uh, we are basing on publicly uh, av uh, available uh, information and that the um, detailed information uh, are uh, available for uh, the ERP systems uh, users via uh, specialized um, uh, user portals. Uh, information gathered on these portals are um, up to date and available um, for access. SAP uh, plans to deliver, d deliver a, a starter solution by the end of May uh, and uh, it is said that uh, the starter solution will evolve uh, into an end-to-end -end solution in the future. Uh, as it is said in the notes uh, published by SAP, the starter solution will, um, will include two things. Um, the first thing is the data extraction settings, so the definition of parameters controlling and downloading um, data from SAP modules, uh, modules for the purpose of, of generating uh, safety files. And the second thing is, is data extraction, so uh, it's about collecting the appropriate transactional data essential to uh, safety generation uh, in extraction tables. Uh, however, uh, at this point of time, the uh, solution, the starter solution uh, described by SAP uh, will not include the logic of uh, generating the uh, safety files, so uh, taking the, the data from the uh, extraction tables and uh, transforming them into, into XML format. If you would look at the right-hand side, uh, you see the reference of, uh, architecture of a, of a reporting environment. Uh, on the left-hand side, you see the uh, source systems. Uh, the, 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 the one on, on the top is, is SAP. And the um, boxes marked in, in, in yellow, those are, uh, those are the um, elements uh, that will be provided by SAP. So, so number one is uh, data extraction settings and number two is, is the data extraction <coughs> table storing uh, the data, the transactional data for the purpose of generating soft, uh, soft uh, The element on the right hand side, so, so the element uh, generating, the tool generating the, the um, uh, safety file is not included in the, uh, in the SAP uh, solution. Um, right now, uh, let's go to, to, to another slide, to, to, um, uh, to Komarch. Uh, according to, to information provided by, by Komarch on, on their web, uh, website, uh, Komarch representatives uh, have participated in public consultation process uh, and they were sharing their uh, experience from similar implementation projects, uh, for example, in France. Uh, Komar is on the other side of um, uh, of the coin, let's say, because uh, Komar representatives uh, say that they will provide a free update to the ERP uh, as the warranty, uh, as a part of the warranty uh, services, both uh, for the on-premise solutions and uh, solutions um, used uh, in cloud. 
And uh, however, Comarch uh, expects that the Ministry of Finance will share the access to, to a platform that, that will help to validate the uh, XML uh, files uh, generated by, by Comarch ERP systems. And um, um, Comarch would also like to, the, the ministry, ministry of Finance to, to, to provide a sample filled in um, safety files in order to, to, to make some tests and to um, uh, say that th this test can, can provide uh, Comarch uh, users with, with, with a uh, optimal solution for this purpose. Uh, before I will um, give, give the microphone to another person, I would like to, 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 to sum up this, um, this section. Uh, I would like to, to uh, say um, three things. Uh, first of all, that the uh, solutions uh, provided by, by vendors assume that the ERP system will be the only source of um, data. Uh, if uh, you, you will be using other sources of data, such as uh, POS systems, such as uh, billing systems, uh, the solutions provided by vendors may help you to generate part of files, but, but uh, other, other files may be generated from another solution. And uh, mm, the most important case from the IT perspective is, is the mapping of, of, uh, of data and identification of data in your uh, source system. And that's the first step of, uh, of the projects uh, that, that we are conducting. Thank you. Mm, thank you, Philip.